Some very big names, including Eminem and Mark Wahlberg, have joined the high-profile list of investors in the Detroit company StockX. Now, if you're not a sneakerhead like these two guys, you may not know what StockX is. As Jason Colthorpe explains, it's a bit of a combination of Amazon, eBay, and the stock market. Since StockX launched a year ago on the 10th floor here at the Bedrock Building, it's gone from seven employees to about 35. So while it's clearly on the rise right now, it's all about the shoes. StockX is a stock market of things. The things right now are sneakers like Retro Jordans, Air Force, and Yeezy. The unique online market was the idea of CEO Josh Luber, who co-founded StockX with Dan Gilbert. So buyers can buy just like any other e-commerce platform, but sellers can sell whenever they want across the market price. Maybe the greatest value StockX gives its customers is authenticating the shoes sellers send here. Every day, um, hundreds, sometimes thousands of pairs of sneakers come through. Primary purpose is for, for us to authenticate the sneakers, make sure that it's, it's the right shoe, that it's not worn, that it's the right size, everything around to make sure the buyer's getting what they're supposed to be getting. And there have been some classics authenticated here. Remember the shoes from Back to the Future 2 that actually do clamp onto your foot? Well, there were only about 87 pair ever made. We've had a handful that have come through here, and those sell between $30,000 and $40,000 a piece. A stock market of things. So right now it may just be the shoes, but keep an eye out for watches, handbags, even stamps, anything and everything you might find on a stock market. And keep an eye out for the StockX TV show. Yeah. In downtown Detroit, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. I have a dumb question. Do you actually wear them? Uh, probably or, not that kinda, expensive. To, to, yeah, put them away. And <laughs> yeah. uh, m, m by the way, has his own line of shoes, and one edition only made 12 pair, all auctioned off to charity for close to $30,000, except one pair that he gave to StockX for an online giveaway. That pair I don't guess you would yeah, wear. Yeah, you don't wear them. You don't wear them.